Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I am participating in a closet challenge, clean closet challenge, uh, hosted by Heidi um, Sonoval from ha Happily Thriving Heidi and uh, Casa Magnolia, Jessica from Casa Magnolia. So I, I will be cleaning out actually a closet that I had turned into a pantry. Now I had organized this closet a while ago but just like any other organization, if you're not keeping up with it, you gotta clean it out quite a bit. So um, the closet is in my uh, mudroom, which is not too far from my kitchen. And uh, I thought I'd do this for the challenge. So come along. So here is the closet. As you can see, I had removed uh, the um, rack for hanging and um, my husband had installed shelves and then the little um, rack over here is from Ikea and it has meshy drawers that I keep my onions, um, potatoes, garlic and some food wrap. So as you can see it's gotten a little messy so I will be getting it um, cleaned and seeing what needs to go downstairs, what needs to be thrown out and stuff like that. So over here the little bag hanging is for garbage because I don't assume there's going to be too much. I am also using my Dyson uh, small ha handheld vacuum cleaner and a basket for things to take downstairs or into the kitchen that don't belong in the closet. Alright, so I'm going to get started. So I'm going to remove everything uh, shelf by shelf. For wiping down shelves, I will be using the Norwax uh, microfiber cloth. I'm gonna use this duster because I don't have a lot of space here for a chair so I'm gonna wipe that down with this duster. So.
I just poured some extra water and vinegar over there because it needed to there's some stains from the onions that I leaked through so I just want to give that a good wipe finished cleaning it up uh, like I said it was more just uh, reorganizing it and getting rid of stuff that should have not been placed over here so I'm just gonna go over it a little bit just so you see what is in here see if the light helps oh, okay. didn't think it helps so over on the side here I just have my different sizes of calendars hanging and then the top shelf has my pasta maker so I pretty much keep things in this pantry that I use maybe once a week or once every two weeks um, but um, stuff that's not used every day I also have appliances and small appliances because I have a bit of a problem with appliances and I like to have them all but um, so I have a shelf in the basement which I will I can link the video below for you to see how I organize that shelf and it holds like I have an extra slow cooker so it has a, I have a meat grinder a roasters electric roasters stuff like that I really don't use on weekly or monthly basis but more or less like maybe every once or twice every three months or something like that so I I keep that that there so Okay, so I'm gonna go over what's here. So I have my pasta maker, my waffle maker, uh, my spiralizer, and then all the grilling supplies like spatulas, tongs, um, the cedar planks, skewers, basting brush, uh, vegetable tray, and stuff like that is in here for grilling. Uh, then over here I have um, extra attachments for my food processor. I have a french fry cutter which I use when I make homemade fries. Uh, and then just extra seasonings, oils and if I buy stuff in bulk or it's on sale I'll put it over here. Um, then over here I have my instant pot, behind it is a food processor. Then I have a blender, my mixer, my go-to slow cooker because of its size. And then I also have a coffee grinder over there but I only use it for spices. I don't use it for coffee because my coffee maker has a coffee grinder attached to it. And then over here I just have extra cans. Um, so pretty much anything that can fit in here that from the shelf but it would fit into this little floating shelf. I used to have actually two more floating shelves but I found I wasn't really using them for what it was needed and I kind of needed more height on the shelf. So underneath here are just I have cheesecloth, I have a candy thermometer, I have a Mickey Mouse uh, pancake shapes, um, what are these called? I don't know what these are called now, top of my head. I have a small rolling pin and then I have my chopper, pineapple cutter, shredders, uh, and also knife sharpeners and knife sharpening stone. and. Back here I keep uh, like um, it's what are these things it's for turkey gravy you pour it and uh, it strains the fat and all that stuff drippings and then I have attachments for my um, rotisserie I have a mandolin over there a thermometer for the smoker uh, some a rope for tying up chickens when I put them in a rotisserie a marble rolling pin, a wok, and a crepe pan. I do make quite a bit of crepes, so I need a crepe pan. <laughs> then I have over there just extra paper towels and Kleenex vinegar, and we usually put, we buy a lot of sparkling water, so uh, the case of sparkling water will go over there. And then up top here, I have all of my food wraps and my parchment paper. 
and then I usually buy local garlic once a year and it does last all year in this meshy thing because it has airflow and it doesn't get too too um, rotten unless the I kind of have to double check which is what I should have done with onion because if you don't double check and there is a onion or a garlic that's off just like even a potato kind of makes everything go off so you have to make sure you double check them but um, this usually last me I buy it just before I make sauce uh, for canning and then we'll have enough for our garlic sausages that we make homemade and then it'll last me for a year and I usually run out probably mid-July and then over here are onions and then potatoes I didn't really clean this one because I had cleaned it out uh, just before I bought these new potatoes so I didn't need to do a full wipe down and then over on the side I have my uh, board for rolling out dough and a giant plastic cutting board that we use when we process meat when we buy it in bulk so that's about it I wasn't using this closet for what it was meant to be uh, as a modern closet because if you watch my videos you know I have a pretty big closet in the hallway right here where the door is open this right here so I didn't need this closet so I thought I utilized it for what I needed and this had worked out really well like I said I already have a video when I redid this closet before but uh, it needed to be re reorganized and um, so I thought I'd share it with you. Well thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will link the uh, playlist down below of all the other closet challenge people that are participating so you can watch them all. And again thank you so much for um, hosting this video Heidi and Jessica and um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and um, thank you for watching.